What's up guys, I wanted to do a last minute video before WWDC, the Worldwide Developer Conference, which takes place on June 11th at 10 a.m. Pacific and 1 p.m. Eastern Time. If you want to see all the other times and dates and uh, places where you can find coverage, I'll give you guys a link to my website in the description down below. It should be the first link, so just uh, give that a click and I'll have more details and stuff there. But in this video, I wanted to cover some of the last minute rumors, uh, talk about what I expect to see, and uh, yeah, and by the way, if you hear this fan right here, uh, I've got that on because I'm kind of running a fever, and if you can tell by my voice, I'm sounding a little sick, because I am a little bit sick, but uh, let's uh, get started. So the main thing we're going to see at WWDC, and they've already put up the banners for it, is iOS 6. Uh, just to name a few features that I'm pretty sure it's going to have, uh, 3D mapping, they're probably doing away with Google uh, Maps. Uh, better Facebook integration uh, and then also uh, better Siri uh, and Siri also may be coming uh, to the iPad the new iPad so that'll be pretty sweet uh, should have been there already uh, but yeah better Siri uh, as well as coming to the iPad that's just a few things I think iOS 6 is going to be a major improvement obviously because it's going up a whole nother number not just a 6.1 or whatever so it's going to be a big update. I think we're going to see a lot of cool stuff with it. Uh, hopefully they give a refresh to how it looks and how everything works uh, just to give us something new and fresh. I'm not sure if they're going to though. I think either way it's still going to come out uh, and it's going to be a really, really uh, nice update. I think they're just going to preview it, just give you uh, some stuff to look forward to. And I'm sure there'll be a ton of stuff that they don't talk about just as always. Um, with a future release uh, later and they may also release a developer beta uh, that day but uh, yeah that's going to be the main thing at WWDC in my opinion or from what I see uh, so far uh, is iOS 6. They're also probably going to give us another preview of OS 10 Mountain Lion uh, maybe even give us a release date for that uh, but yeah that's going to be something cool to look forward to a new operating system with all new features and uh, more iOS like uh, on your Mac. Apple's Mac lineup is also going to get a lot of updates. We've heard rumors of a 15 inch MacBook Pro being thinner uh, and also getting a retina display as well as the MacBook Airs possibly getting a retina display uh, and there's also rumors that the iMac will be updated along with the Mac Pro. The Mac Pro hasn't seen an update in like two years uh, so it's due for an update or either they're going to do away with it. I think they're going to update it. Uh, so expect some new products to be announced. I, I doubt they'll be released that day and ready for you to go pick up at a store. Uh, They'll probably just announce them with a future release date and probably give us uh, a time of when or a date uh, when it's going to be available for us to pick up. Uh, but I think for certain we will see a thinner uh, MacBook Pro uh, and hopefully, hopefully we will see the retina displays on the MacBook Airs. Now what do I think we're not going to see at WWDC? The new Apple TV as well as the new iPhone. I've talked about all the rumors of both of those, so I don't really feel the need to mention them all again uh, since I don't think they're going to be announced here. But just recently, uh, if you didn't see the video, there was actually video of a back casing of supposedly the new iPhone uh, stacked up or held up against uh, the iPhone 4S. And it looks pretty nice, and I think it's going to be an amazing design if that uh, is the actual casing. Uh, but it does fit pretty much all the rumors we've been hearing, uh, and it looks pretty sweet. So there you go. There's a quick little summary of what I think they're going to be announcing at this year's WWDC. Uh, again, that is just rumors and my thoughts. Uh, they may come out and announce a new iPhone. They may come out and announce a new Apple TV. Let me know in the comments what you guys think they're going to announce or uh, any specific things in iOS 6 or Mountain Lion or anything like that that you're looking forward to. Uh, but yeah, if you want to get my live coverage of the event, I will be covering it via Twitter. Uh, and then also, uh, after the fact, I will do a recap video here on my YouTube channel. Uh, but if you want up-to-the-minute updates, what you need to do uh, is follow my Twitter account at Ty's iPhone how I'll be tweeting pictures uh, and then quotes and just uh, talking about the stuff that they're announcing as soon as they announce it. I'm not going to be at WWDC. I'm actually going to be uh, at Myrtle Beach, uh, which if you guys want to uh, come to a meetup, I'm doing a meetup tomorrow, uh, Sunday at like Plyler Park around 5 o'clock-ish. I'll put a link below if you guys are going to be in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to be covering the event uh, from the beach. I didn't. I planned out my uh, trip to the beach for a couple days. Completely forgot that the Apple event was that day, but I guess I'm going to cover it from there. But it should be fun, so stay tuned for that. Uh, again, uh, follow me on Twitter, and if you want to, if you're not going to be around Twitter to look at it or around your phone, well, around your phone, I guess, is the best option. Um, you can sign up for uh, to follow me on text updates uh, on my Twitter account. There's a little button that looks like a little cell phone uh, that you can set 
put your number on Twitter and it'll send you a text when I tweet. So that way you get it directly to your phone as a text message. All right, I've rambled enough. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you're expecting in WWDC this year. Uh, and I will see you guys on Monday. Yes. What was that? Peace.